Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be going over some of the Ipsy choices for April 2022. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. It helps me a ton. I don't know if the timing has to do with this or it's based on your preferences or whatever, but I know they can run out of certain items. I ended up making my choice around 12 p.m. Eastern time. Ipsy chose two products for me. I will let you guys know what they are, but I also kind of want to not tell you guys everything I got and reveal it once I finally get my bag. So I am just gonna be going over most of the choices for the three categories, but the two items that Ipsy chose for me, the first one is the Dr. Brandt Skincare Clean Biotic pH Balance Cleanser. I actually have the Clean Biotic Overnight Mask and I do really like it. It does have, I think, either pre or probiotics in it. It's nice and gentle on the skin, helps hydrate. I just really like the texture, it's a nice gel texture. So I'm hoping I will like the cleanser as well. The second product that Ipsy chose for me is by Koa Life and it's their vitamin C brightening oil. I'm not too, too crazy big on face oils. Although I have tried a few lately and I actually have been liking them. So maybe they're starting to grow on me, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or not, but it looks like it's got good ingredients. So it definitely looks like a good item. So the two that Ipsy chose for me, I am happy about this month. For my first category of products, we have to choose from the Ahava Purifying Mud Mask, the Juice Beauty Probiotics Instant Flash Facial, the Il Maquillage Dirty Talk Matte Lip Color in Elwa. We have from Ciate London the Bamboo Bronzer in Palm Island. We did see the Ciate London bronzer as a spoiler shown for the Glam Bag Plus. And then we also have the Beauty For Real Golden Hour Mango Butter Eyeshadow Palette. And then the last item to choose from is the Contact Skin Tinted Lip Balm Duo in All or Nothing and Hard Time. This category for me, there's definitely a clear winner, I will say that. So I didn't have too hard of a choice with this one, but a lot of the items are really good. I don't really need a mud mask because I have so many face masks, lots of them being mud masks or sheet masks. The Juice Beauty, I love probiotics and prebiotics products, so that was definitely a good option for me. And it is an exfoliator and I love exfoliators. The Il Maquillage, the color of the lipstick is really, really pretty, but I have a bajillion lipsticks, I don't really need another. The bronzer looked really pretty again, but I have so many. So we'll move on to the last two. The Beauty for Real eyeshadow palette, guys. This palette looks so pretty. The pigments look really nice. I looked up a few swatches and they looked really, really nice. And then just the color assortment is totally like what I would go for when picking out an eyeshadow palette. I just, I love color. There's a few neutrals in there as well, but definitely looked like a top choice as well. And then we do have the Contact Skin Tinted Lip Balm Duo. I almost picked this in one of my last bags, but I didn't. I picked something else. I just ended up going with something else. I love lip balms that are like more balmy, not like the lip balms that are like really drying on your lips, like Chapstick, for example. This was a tough choice because you get two of them just for for one category and the colors are really pretty too so that was definitely a top one for me as well that is the category one did you guys have these products in your first choice option or did you guys have different stuff let me know moving on into my second choice we have four items listed so for the first choice we did have six items listed i like seeing more items versus less items sometimes it can make the choice process a little bit harder but at the same time it's like i'd rather get more options options than less so that way I can definitely get what I want. So moving on to the second category. This one there actually was a nice assortment as well. We have the Sandbar Beauty the Oasis palette. This palette looks really really pretty. Now I have seen this palette and I will say that it looks different in different pictures so I don't know what the true look of it actually is. There is one shade that really called out to me and it's the really light green color like a sea green. It looked really really pretty. I think the palette just looks really cute overall and I do really like the color assortment. So this was definitely a great option. We do have the Mishko Beauty Manicure Set. This one is kind of cool because it comes with three items. I believe it's an oil, a clear coat, and a one of the little nail thingies, but I'm not totally sure on that one. Looks like a really nice set if you like your nail products. I tend to just keep my nails pretty natural. Definitely a nice set if you like more minimalistic stuff. And then the next 
next product we've got is by Ahava. This is their Derm Mud Intensive Foot Cream. So great if you have a dry skin, want to lather up your feet and get them nice and moisturized. This actually kind of looks like a good product and it's something different. The next product we've got is by Hi, and this is the High Expectations Cannabis Facial Oil. So like I said previously, I'm not like too crazy big on oils. However, I found that you can use them on your hands. You could use them on your body if you don't want to use them on your face. So I was looking at this. The ingredients look absolutely amazing and it is a higher cost product. So that one definitely stuck out to me as well. So those are the four options. I did have a little of a tough choice with this category did you guys have these for your second pick or if you got different stuff let me know and then moving on to our third product category we have four items to choose from again for the first one by rodeal and this is the dragon's blood eye gel i've actually seen this quite a lot it's popped up so many times i don't know if it's been on ipsy or in boxy charm i don't know if i received this in the past i may have in a previous boxy charm or something it has a high retail value it retails for $70 I was looking at the ingredients though and I don't really know what makes it so special the ingredients didn't look like the greatest so if you guys have tried this eye gel let me know how it is I was curious with the price point but I also have so many eye products that it was nice seeing something different but at the same time not really something I need too much today's video shout out word is dragon if you comment dragon down below in the comments first you'll get a shout out on my next video the next product we've got is by Girl Lactic, and this is their Metallic Eye Sparkle in Cleopatra. I'm just gonna tell you guys right away, I did not choose this one, and here's why. So I ended up picking one of the Girl Lactic eyeshadows in the past, and it just never showed up. They never sent it to me. They sent me something else. And this shade, it looks like a nice eyeshadow shade, but I have so many that are like so similar to this that it's just like not really needed, but it is pretty. And then the next product we've got is by Complex Culture. This is their Vegan Boar Bristle oval paddle brush. I definitely love that it is vegan. It looks like a really nice high quality brush. So what it looks like is it looks like it's got the plastic bristles as well as the shorter plastic bristles. So it's like it will really go through your hair and help smooth it out and get rid of knots a little bit easier maybe hopefully. We also have as the last item to choose from, it's by Huxley and this is their Secret of Sahara Mask Oil Extract Set. The name kind of got me a little bit curious. I'm not too too big on sheet masks. I was looking at the description of this one. You do get three masks. It says you have to like fold them in a specific way and it says that there's two steps which was kind of interesting to me unless it's just like a top half and a bottom half. I don't know. So this category for me I wasn't like the most fond of all of these products to choose from. It was kind of just up in the air. I ended up just choosing one. I didn't think they were the greatest for this category. Like they're definitely nice products, but not really something I need or like really want to try. So that one was a tough one to choose just because I didn't like them as much. But the other categories were pretty good and I was happy with the items that Ipsy chose for me. So getting four out of five good products is a good solid win for me. I also will tell you guys that I will go over with you guys all of my choices when my bag actually comes, but I will tell you guys the entire retail value. It came out to be $200 flat. Definitely a great value. I think it's $28 a month plus tax right now. So if you're going to use these products, it's definitely a great deal if you get the products that you really want and can actually use. Let me know what you guys chose for your choices. I would love to hear. Today's video shout out goes out to Melissa Arnhold. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you guys want a shout out in my videos, make sure to watch the entire video and look out for the shout out word. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't, make sure to subscribe subscribe, hit that like button, and turn your post notification bell on so you guys are updated every time I post a new video. Love you guys. Bye.